Yamaha is a major player in the motorcycle market, but it's also a major manufacturer of unmanned aircraft systems. At the AVUSI show in Orlando this week, the company showed off the new Phaser Precision Agricultural RPA helicopter. Yamaha hopes to market the new aircraft in the U.S. for treating high-value crops. We're here today. Uh, we're introducing the new Yamaha Phaser uh, at the conference. Uh, it's Yamaha's brand-new remotely piloted helicopter. Um, the R-Max, which has been in our uh, repertoire for many, many years, uh, was introduced back in 1997. It's been in operation in Japan, South Korea, and recently Australia. We have 2,500 R-Max in operation today. It's a very mature platform. Uh, the Phaser is basically uh, the next generation a remotely piloted helicopter from Yamaha, uh, where the R-Max is a horizontally opposed two-stroke 246cc carbureted engine. The Phaser is now a four-stroke 390cc fuel-injected horizontally opposed engine. Um, we're able to get 50% more payload capacity out of the Phaser through weight reduction and power up on the new power plants. We like to say that we operate these in a manner that is low and slow. Uh, we're flying basically three meters above a crop at about 12 miles per hour, and we're using it for spray applications. Um, and if you were to combine that spray application with prior sensing, you could do very effective prescriptive spraying uh, and offer a very efficient package to uh, a farmer. The U.S. market is, we are so big in agriculture, but we are, if you look at the center part of the U.S., we are, there's a large portion of commodity crops, you know, uh, corn, wheat. But then you've got high value crops and where we're starting to look is in high value crops like vineyards and grapes. Uh, we've looked at almonds, pistachios. We'll continue to look at these high value crops in which the parcels of lands aren't so huge that where an option like the R-Max with its 6.2, uh, 6.1, I'm sorry, the Phasers is 6.1 gallon capacity or the R-Max is 4.2 gallon capacity might make a, 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 an economical match. Um, and so it's really about efficiency. Um, the speed at which we're able to apply compared to a ground rig, for example, at operating at two to three miles per hour, we're able to operate at about 12 miles per hour uh, where a tractor is going to be able to pull a ground rig and cover a little over an acre an hour, we're going to be able to hit anywhere as high as 16 acres per hour. So efficiency is going to be the key.